look, there's, there's some people here. We've lost about 2,000 staff. And they're asking me, when are they going to hire me back? That's my number one job is to hire all my staff back. And so mm -hmm. I've got to find ways. I've got to fight. I've got to find new ways. But mm -hmm. you know, every time we, we find a solution, then another problem comes, you know? We're on the mm. fourth wave of COVID. Um, mm. So, you know, it's it's tough, but I know there's an end. So while yeah. we're fighting COVID, we're restructuring the airline business, we're doing lots of things. So, um, you know, we just got to... Uh, So, Tony, uh, let's check with the audience. Uh, for you, uh, for, for those of you who are in the clubhouse, this is a chance for you to ask Tony himself. Tony Fernandez himself is a group CEO. A lot of people raise their hands. And let me see in clubhouse. Let me check whether I can. And then I will check maybe one or two from clubhouse. Is that okay with you, Tony? And one or two from, or maybe one uh, from Instagram. We have 20 minutes okay. left. So however yeah, you exactly. All right, I have Hendra Hillman here in Clubhouse. Hi, Coach Hendra. Hi, Coach Jonas. Hi, Tony. It's really uh, exciting uh, to talk to you. Right. Wait, wait a sec, Coach, uh, Coach Hendra. I will, I will try to uh, disconnect first so you can speak. Okay, go ahead, Coach Hendra. Right. Uh, hi, Tony. It's really excited to talk to you today. So, um, I have this question. Uh, how, how do you actually manage your team and how do you actually develop your team to make sure they perform the, the job and the, the task uh, in the company? It's about transparency. It's about uh, giving people a chance to go between you know, developing themselves, allowing them to live their dreams. Um, mm. and, then, and then constant communication. I think to monitor staff, you just got to be constantly communicating. So mm. that's what I'm trying to uh, to do the whole time. Mm -hmm. I, I'm finding it difficult to do clubhouse and. Uh, in, but anyway, is it good now for you? Is it good for for you? Just focus on yeah, Instagram. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of echo and stuff. But anyway, oh. carry on. We've got 15 minutes, so let's let's carry on. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Coach Hendra. Um, I will, I will I your question, but maybe... Uh... Yeah, let, let us focus on Instagram, Tony. I, we yeah. have like hundreds of questions, 22 questions here. So let me choose for you, yeah? There is a good question here from Ray Penny. You can read it also on your screen. In times of difficult time for the business, how do you deal with it in order to find solution? I think that I'm in the most difficult position ever. <laughs> so... Yeah. You Deal with it with honesty. You got to deal with it head on. Uh, I think too many people hope problems go away. They don't go mm -hmm. away. You know, we've been mm -hmm. living with COVID now for 15 months. Mm -hmm. So uh, you've just got to uh, just got to deal with it head on and find solutions. It is hard, mm -hmm. but by hiding and hoping things will go away, it won't. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, okay. That's 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 a good one. But, but people try trying to say to follow your, your advice and trying to move on. They say ah, it's not easy for me. You know, what's inside oh, you that keep you moving forward? <clears throat> what's inside you? My staff. That... Look, there's there's some people here. We've lost about two thousand staff, and they're asking me when are they going to hire me back? That's my number one job is to hire all my staff back. And so mm. I've got to find ways. I've got to fight. I've got to find new ways. But mm. you know, every time we, we find a solution, then another problem comes, you know? We're on the mm. fourth wave of COVID. Um, mm. So, you know, it's, it's tough, but I know there's an end. So while yeah. we're fighting COVID, we're restructuring the airline business, we're doing lots of things. So, um, you know, we just got to, uh, we just got to make sure that um, we keep alive so that when COVID finishes, we can rehire everyone back. Mm. 
that's what keep you moving forward on yeah <clears throat> you know i've asked a question here by rolando i mm. how are you doing when are we going to hire all the flight ops back <clears throat> i don't have a definitive answer uh, rolando but i can say that covid is going to end within december or maybe the first or second quarter of next year and i think there's going to be a huge demand for air travel so oh, I'm, yeah, hoping, yeah. i'm hoping we can start airing people back this time next year but it's very tough to predict hopefully the vaccines will be more successful and maybe we can grow quicker faster <clears throat> but that's my aim rolando is to get everyone back yeah awesome so you're thinking about your team you're thinking about your people that's what make you moving forward yeah so it's a grab people if you have questions remember you have to you just put your questions on the uh, question box so i can read your question there is a lot of questions here i try to there is this is an opportunity to ask tony himself you know get what's on his head and his mind i think those of you who raise right raise now, uh, hands in clubhouse instagram at the same time this yeah is sorry for house. those of you in the uh, clubhouse you raise your hand but okay let, let, let me try to listen to uh, you don't need to change anything tony so just jinky have a question in clubhouse hopefully i can repeat the questions to you tony jinky you want to ask questions there's a jinky here i invite you to to stage on stage hi jinky hi how you doing <laughs> Oh, Jinky is from Philippines, Tony. Uh, yeah. I will repeat her his, her questions. Go ahead. You have question for Tony to be a pilot right now. Um, you know, I I I can't see Air Asia hiring new pilots for a few years. Um, I think that will happen to most of the airline industry. So my um my advice is uh you know, keep the dreams going about being a pilot because definitely there'll be opportunities. as he's young but i want to be real that i don't think many airlines will be hiring pilots in the short term maybe for a year year and a half uh while we we have to rehire all the pilots that are out of a job right now first that's our number one priority yes but yeah. i'm sure within within two years pilots will be uh cadet pilot program will be open again yeah it will as you say there is an end and there's a new beginning this is a reset so see from the positive point of view right yeah. thank you hopefully jinky it's answer uh, your questions to tony and go i mean go big big dream for for those who want to be a pilot is a matter of time yeah and muralia actually ask you a question let me let me read the question for you tony So you've been an angel investor before or like uh, venture capital and everything maybe I twist the questions into how do you how do you find a business as a good business what's your yeah. criteria I I think number one is people can are the people able to execute what they say that's the most important and then number two is um is it something people want so if you talk mm. about low cost airlines who doesn't want to fly cheap right so you know yeah. that's a successful product of course mm. there are tons of other problems when it comes to a low cost airline uh, straight after that okay number one, is it a product people want number mm. two, can these people execute that vision mm. right so those are the two things mm. Right. I'm reading the the list of questions and try to find something um yeah there's a question here how will air asia super app compete against grab yeah look it's not just about competing it's not a zero sum game there's some mm. people who are going to like air asia super app there's some people who are going to like grab i think one of mm. the big advantages we have is we have a lot of people who have used air asia to fly they have big yeah. loyalty points um they have credit under us so very soon 
we'll be able to allow them to use their points, allow them to. Uh, so it's our ecosystem. You fly, you get money. Yeah. You start to buy our food. You buy food with us. You get points to fly with us. Um, mm. Single sign-on. I think, like AirAsia, we will we will um, have uh, a lot of good value. If you look at yeah. AirAsia Beauty, we had the cheapest cosmetic products in um, in Malaysia and Indonesia. So mm. we'll compete on price. We'll compete on the ecosystem. Uh, we'll compete on service. Our cabin mm. crew is fantastic. Our delivery guys will be fantastic. Mm. Um, but we're not here to be number one. We're here to provide customers with a choice. Mm. And we're trying to create an AirAsia way of life. So you fly with us, you buy food with us, you buy cosmetics with us, um, you do your banking with us. Some people will want to have AirAsia in their life a lot more. Some people want to have Goje or Grab. Some people have everything, just like you, Johannes. We have Clubhouse, <laughs> we have Instagram. <laughs> you teach me, never take no, remember? You, and you screw Sorry? up your brain completely. Um, no, you, you so, teach me, never take no. <laughs> That's yeah, I remember. I give up. Right. I'm struggling, but I didn't give yeah. up. So, okay. so, yeah. Tony, my last question is coming from me. And this is, I think, his last question. And I really hope it's an uh, uh, awesome I answer from you. you. Yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. in a couple of months we can do it again. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. So, my last question is to you, Tony. What is your deep message to entrepreneurs out there yeah. who build a business? Yeah, great question. Number yeah. one is you're looking at a guy that never gave up. Can you imagine going from the music business to the airline business? So mm. first point is never give up on your dreams, right? Mm. If yeah. it's your dream, you have one life. You don't want to sit there at 55 and say, I wish I did it. Too late. You can't press the rewind button. So right. live your dreams. Try. Don't, don't be afraid of failure, right? That's number one. Mm. Don't let your grandmother or Johannes or any other coach <laughs> tell you you can't live your dream. That's number one. Yeah. Yeah. Number two is um, get good people. And number three is make sure you have enough money for branding. Okay, it's important. Yeah. Hmm. I hope this yeah. is meaningful. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that it wasn't, it was a bit disjointed, but I'm happy to do it again, Johanna, so I'm a bit more prepared now. And uh, maybe, maybe after Labaran and Hari Raya, we can, we can have another session. It's always good to have you, and at that time, you have two devices, and it's a good connection <laughs> with you. <laughs> yeah. Let's take this good training session. Uh, wow. Relax, podcast should be launched in a couple of months. Mm, mm. Awesome, awesome, Tony. And, and you're, 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 you're keep consistent. You're keep consistent telling about that three points, and I keep, I keep a big dream. You say big dream. Number two is about uh, uh, the right people, super team, the right team, people, 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 right? And number three is about marketing and branding. You have, we have to invest in marketing and branding. Awesome, awesome. Tony, salute to you. And, I, and I'm so, I, I, I believe Air Asia, your team and everybody is going to go to, everyone can fly, Air Asia can fly, everyone can fly, Tony. Thanks a lot. And... Uh... Hello, Dulduri from Mongolia. Hope to see you. Wow. Take care, awesome. everyone. See you soon. Keep positive. Thank you so much and, for uh, your time, Tony. Okay. Keep in touch bye. and see you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Bye-bye, Tony. Thank you so much.